Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on the Shark AI Ultra 2-in-1 Robot Vacuum. So this is the one that will vacuum the floor and also it has a mop attachment that will, atta that will clean your linoleum or hardwood floors. So I have had this unit for over two months now. I've given it a really good workout. I really, really wanted to like it because I liked the previous model that didn't have the, uh, the mopping attachment. But this one does have some shortcomings. Now it does work really well as far as vacuuming. And I did find the mopping works um, relatively okay. It's just kind of attaching the mop attachments a little tricky and, and the mapping. So the app is where I think the biggest shortfall for Shark is. I was really hoping with this newer model that they would have improved the app and the mapping, but that's kind of where I have the hardest problem with the mapping. So it does have a self-empty base. I do want to show you that the self-empty base does work. This thing is completely full. Okay, so you're going to take this over to your trash can. It is bagless. You're going to press this button and look, it does pick up a lot of stuff. I just was hoping for a better mapping and for mopping. Now you can see once in a while, you do have to kind of blow this out. Some of the stuff does kind of stick up there. But we can see this picks, I got two dogs in the house. It picks up a lot of dog hair and it does pick up some of the finer particles. And one more thing, so there is a filter here. You do have to clean this filter pretty regularly. It will get a lot of light dust particles on there. So this, I haven't cleaned this for about a month. Okay, so let's talk about the vacuum. It's got two buttons here for control. It's got LiDAR navigation. You'll hear something turning in there. It does blow air out this clean edge, not all the time. So the first thing it's gonna do, it's gonna go around your room and do the edges and you'll hear this fan kicking on and off. It's only got one sweeper. I really wish it would have had two sweepers. So they did away with one sweeper over here on this side. Um, this roller here is pretty good. You can take it off. I haven't cleaned this once in a while. You do have to kind of clean this out, but it does keep the hair off of it. Okay, so around back, we've got the dust bin. Now again, this automatically empties it. Now you can see mine once in a while picks up water. That's why you see some dirt here. I've got dogs and around their drinking bowl, they make a mess. And so the water will get sucked up into this and it'll just leave kind of hard spots there for the dirt to come off. So you do have to blow this out once in a while. About every couple weeks, you've got to blow this filter out. And then there's another filter right here. You can replace this filter, but I do just blow it out. It gets really dirty. Okay, so here's probably the first problem I encountered. So normally it docks like this. It's got the normal dustpan in there that it's gonna suck the stuff out of. But when you wanna put the cleaning dustpan on that got the, the, for doing hardwood floors, there's real no good way. You just gotta kind of, you know, undock it. You can, sometimes it wants to go, then you gotta pause it, and then it kind of gets all confused. It doesn't really know what you're doing. So you gotta turn it around. You gotta take this out. That causes an error. Then you got to put this one on. So you can see these look really similar. Just this one has a place for solution. Now it's also going to vacuum. So when it's mopping, it is vacuuming, but it's going to put it into a chamber that you have to empty yourself. So you're going to, this is the dry chamber. You're going to lift this up. So you're going to lift that up. Now dirt and debris is going to go in here, but you're going to have to take this over to the trash can and empty it out. You can see the filter. It, you're going to have to clean this off. It, it really resembles this except this one self empties. This one here, it's got that liquid, all that in the way. So you're not gonna have, have that self empty feature, but you do have the mopping feature. Okay, so let's talk about the mopping now. Again, really easy. I do like that it's easy to fill up. You're gonna put the Shark Vac Mop solution in there. It's got a place for water, and then you fill it up to there with solution. Okay, so it does come with these mop pads. Let's put a mop pad on. So you're gonna make sure the lid is closed, turn it around. You gotta slide this into the track. So find the green in, you're gonna slide it in. So I do like the mop pads are very easy to install. This is kind of like a Velcro handle, it just sits there. So now when it's mopping, it's gonna go like this over the floor. So it does come with an extra one. Here's a mop pad that I used on my kitchen floor for about a week. You know, it did pick up some of the dirt. It was, a you know, and these are, you can just throw these in the washing machine, which is nice. Okay, so back to the vacuum. So I've got it removed. You can see we're gonna put it in, we're gonna install it just like the other one. You're gonna slide it in here. Now it does install very easy. I didn't have a really a problem with that. It's just kind of the logistics of installing it, getting the machine to kind of work again. See, it's flashing red, we're in an air mode. And now you gotta kind of press the clean button 
and then let's kind of let's press the dock button see if it'll dock itself now in theory it should dock itself the other way because there are charging points on the front now so it should go into the front and dock okay so it is docking itself but again i i found that it has a problem kind of docking itself sometimes so it did dock itself and now this is on the back side okay so what would have been nice is when this attachment's installed in the map i've got that the kitchen linoleum see i've got a lot of carpet i got i got linoleum and in the in the map i've got this designated as not carpet so it'd be nice if i could just come up here when this is installed if it knew I can just, I want to just hit the clean button and it would clean the kitchen, but that's not the case. You still have to go into the app and tell it to only clean the kitchen. Because if you go up here, it will start cleaning the whole house. Even with this attachment on, it'll start going over your carpet. And that leads me to my next thing. So you, the base unit has to be installed on linoleum or hardwood floor. I used to have the base unit installed over in a corner on the carpet, but that's not the case. Because in order for it to get to the linoleum with that on, it's got to cross your carpet. Now, again, you have to go in there and put no-go zones for carpets, but I did find that it went over these carpets. Even with that pad installed, it did go over these carpets. It didn't get stuck on them. Okay, so let's get to the mapping of the app. So you do have to have an iPhone or a Samsung phone. It, they have not updated the app on Samsung tablets, Android tablets. I'm not sure why, but it'll make you think it works but it will not work on a Samsung tablet, which I really wish it would because that's what I'm used to using. That way it's easier to use the map and that. Um, I got to use my iPhone, which has got kind of a smaller display. Okay, so again, this is, I consider this the biggest shortcoming of this is the map. I found it to be very hard. It, it doesn't give a actual true representation of your house. It, it tries, it does a relatively good job. You got to go into, let's go edit. Let's go to map. I was hoping with the new uh, vacuum that it would be a new app, but it's the same app and the same mapping as the older one. And you got to go in and then you got to tell it different zones. And you can, I just found, and again, it always pops up saying that the shark's dock is in a bad area, but it's not. It's in a, it's right there in the kitchen. Um, and the no go zones, again, I just found the map is, is very hard to use. I've had to remap my house three times. I seem to have to keep going back in and editing the rooms a little bit because it doesn't really like that right there where the family room and kitchen are separated. It should be over there, but it kind of thinks it's right there. Um, it, the, the app is easy to use. I just feel like it's, it's not the best. And then let's go into like the different zones. So there you can see there is my linoleum and you got to tell it what, uh, where the carpet is, which is, I would wish it was the opposite way around. Like say, this is where to clean. And then once you tell it the carpet zones, it wants to do a, a verifying run. And I, I felt the verifying run was inaccurate. It was kind of going all over the house. It, it'll, it wants to run a verifying run. It wants to run along the carpet line and say, okay, you watch the vacuum as it goes along the carpet line and, and see if it's correct. Well, it wasn't correct. And I had to keep, then you got to edit the room and do it over. And I spent probably a couple hours kind of doing that. And I felt that, and it never really ended up being right. It ended up being just way too small because you don't want it to go on the carpet. So you end up making everything smaller as far as where the linoleum is. And then as far as putting a no-go, like picking where, I got a rug right there in front of that putting a no-go zone there was, I would put it there, but then it would just pick a bigger area where it wouldn't go around. It's hard to put a no-go zone where the rug is. Okay, so the mapping aside, let's hit cancel. Okay, so we're back to this. Now I can hit, I've got the mop installed on the vacuum right now. Now there's really no control over the mop. I can't control how much it puts down, water. I can hit clean, again, I gotta pick rooms, and I gotta tell it, okay, only do the kitchen. And then you hit clean. It'll, you can change the power level, but you can't change the, the mopping level. So let's just do normal and let's hit start clean. And really the only thing you get is a clean in progress. You don't get a tracking of where the uh, robot vacuum is. It just says that it's cleaning in progress. I can tell it to go to dock. I can tell it to pause again, but I really don't have other control other than the level of the vacuum itself. Okay, so here we are. It has the mop head installed. 
And then it kind of just goes in a circle for a little bit. I think it's trying to get the water down to the mop head. So it is putting solution down. And it, it is moving that pad a little bit. You can see it moving the pad back and forth a little bit. And see, there's also a light on the side. So when that light is on, there's air coming out there. You know, I don't feel that works the best. And you can hear it. It'll ramp that, that fan that, where that air comes out of that little hole. It ramps it up and down. You can kind of hear it. Kind of going... Now, the first thing this robot does, it does go around and does all of the, all the edge of the room first. And then it'll turn that, that blower off. And then it'll start just doing the center part of it. But it will go around and do the whole edge first. So it does leave down a, just enough liquid there to kind of, you can see where it's wet and do some cleaning action. It does dry really fast. And you can see if you don't put, if you don't put a go no go zone for your rugs, it will go over your rugs. Now again, this whole time that it's mopping, it is vacuuming also. And see, this is where it thinks the edge of my carpet is. Even though my carpet is over here, I've tried to get it to where it knows exactly where the edge is. But after four times of editing, I just gave up. And it does do an even pattern as far as mopping. I think there's a lot of potential with this vacuum. Okay, so with the mopping attachment installed, you can see it is mopping the floor. It's going back and forth. It is vacuuming while it's mopping. It's putting solution down. And that little pad back there is moving back and forth to kind of help scrub the floor. So I feel like it does a pretty good job of cleaning your floor. It's not going to get a big stain off, but it does keep it nice and clean. Okay, so here's my original uh, robot vacuum from Shark. It's the AI version. It doesn't have the mop uh, feature. I absolutely love this robot vacuum. This one, I think, has even gotten better with time. Now, again, this uses the same app and the same map, but the map doesn't have to be necessarily as detailed when you don't have the mop attachment. You know, you're gonna put no-go zones for different things and that generally works. But the map's just a little bit easier when you don't have to worry about mopping. So this one, again, I've had for over a year. The best thing you can do with these is put them on a schedule. So the best thing, again, is like pick a time every day that it just comes on and does its job. Again, here's this one, I've got the chamber off, but again, it's got two of these brushes. Here's that roller again. It, it really prevents the hair from getting clogged on it. It's got the same type of chamber that self empties. Again, you do have to blow this out. So you're going to have like a blower and you just got to take this outside and give it a good blowing. And then up here again, you've got this filter again. You got to take this. You can wash that out, rinse that out, but you don't have to let it dry. So it's good to have some extras on hand so you can just throw a, a clean one in there while you're um, letting this one dry. Okay, so let's empty this one. It's been working in the basement for a while. Oh yeah, it, it does a really good job again. Sometimes you gotta take this container out and blow it out. So again, I really do like this AI one. It's a couple years old um, and it's coming down in price quite a bit. I think it's around $360 now, which is a, a really good deal. I feel like it does a very good job. I hardly, maybe once every couple weeks, I've gotta go find it because it kind of gets stuck somewhere. And my basement has lots of chairs that it has to get around. And I see, and I feel like it navigates and cleans this room very well. Now these newer ones, I used to have an older one that you had to rely on these magnetic strips. These magnetic strips don't work with these newer ones. Um, they're, they're just sensitive and they won't even stop or nothing. So I used to have to put it around this treadmill. Okay, so when it's done mopping, it'll go and dock itself. And so it'll still charge, but it doesn't empty the bin. So up here we can see that it's charging but it's not gonna be activating this vacuum. Okay, so when we're done mopping, we're simply gonna hit this release lever. This will slide out the back. Then we can put this one back on. It just slides in there. And then let's tell it to go dock. Okay, so after I slid this one back on again, you, you need it to turn around now. So let's tell it to go clean. 
and then we're gonna tell it to go dock. So now that it has that other one on, it should dock the other way so that it can self-empty. And that's what it's gonna do. Okay, so let's go take a look. Here's the mopping one I've got again. We've gotta go empty this ourselves. There is the dirt and debris that it picked up before it started mopping. Let's take the mopping pad off again. Very easy to take off. It does have some Velcro there. I'm going to slide it off. And we can see it did do a you know, relatively good job of cleaning the floor with some dirt. Okay, so I do want to say a couple more things about this. So for some reason, this is my second unit. The first unit worked for a while, then it wouldn't dock. It was just kind of going all over the place, and it just never found the dock. And then it would end up going all the way around the house and run its battery down. But Shark does have great customer service. So I called their number. They send you a text which turns your camera on if you allow it. And they walk you through. So you can point the camera at the Shark. They can help you do different things. They walk me through a couple troubleshooting things. Um, it was very simple. But they ended up sending me a new one. No questions asked. It was out here. It was, I had it within a week. I did have to box up my old one and send it back. They gave me a UPS tag to send it back. Now, even with this new one, for some reason, this unit, when it's vacuuming the carpet, and there's like two areas in my house, it randomly just stops. And for some reason, it's the same area. And I haven't figured out, there's nothing in the way. There's not like a, it's not hitting anything, but it just finds one spot and it like pauses. And if you don't go over and hit the clean button again, it'll sit there all day or a couple days. So I'm not really sure what that's about. Again, this thing has so much potential. I, I really, really wanted to like it. I think the mopping feature did work. If you're able to kind of get the map to work better for you and take your time with it a little bit more, then I think this would be a great one. Again, I just found taking the, um, the attachment on and off, the machine gets all confused and then you're kind of hitting buttons. There are better ones out there for as, as far as attachment. So I've done the um, the Eufy. Um, it, putting its attachment on and off, the machine knows exactly what attachment's on. It turns itself around, and it just kind of works better as far as that. And the Eufy app is amazing. It, it maps your house really, really detailed. I felt it was very easy to use. But I feel like this one, does, this one has such a good vacuum on it. That's what I really liked. You saw when I emptied that how much uh, dirt and debris was in there. This thing really does a good job of vacuuming my house. But the thing about these vacuum cleaners is you may not be used to is you do have to do some cleaning. I know this says 60 days and you could probably go 60 days, but at least once every couple weeks I'm blowing out the vacuum, blowing out that filter up there, which can be kind of a dirty mess. Since it is bagless, it's using those filters to catch all the dirt, which eventually you do have to clean those. But I really, really do recommend the Shark AI without the mopping attachment. That thing is, I really do like it. I am going to be buying the iRobot vacuum, and I'll be doing a comparison with it. So I hope this video helps. Thanks, everybody, for watching.